All right, guys, I uh, I forgot uh, about the silver playoffs. Um, I thought this was the end of the season for me. I lost my normal playoff game, um, but uh, of course there's the silver playoffs. So uh, I'm not off the hook yet. Um, and tonight uh, I'm playing my first silver playoff game against Antonio Guarino. Um, let's see if I can um, manage to stay above 1600 play deck rating. Would be nice. Right, um, I pick the US, and, well, it's not a bad hand. I can control the Middle East, I've got NASA, can headline that. I've got Purge, I've got, I've got a lot of Ops. Uh, nothing particularly problematic, some victory points. And hopefully I can get something in Asia, although it's hard to get Dom with the US, but uh, got a lot of ops, so let's see what I can do. Right, dumping Europe. Now the question is, what do I do? Because DEFCON is at 5 still. I kind of feel like it's okay to go into Pakistan right away. So let's do that. And also Malaysia. Now we'll see. Yeah, so I was thinking about South Korea. Maybe I should have gone there first. Um, now, because it's letting me into India. I mean, the question is, do I want to fight for South Korea? And, and maybe I don't have to. Maybe we can just go India and maybe even Thailand. Um, I have a suspicion, though, that he will... Um, coup if I go into Thailand. Uh, I want to event this, so let's do that first. And I'm kind of giving up on South Korea, but I don't want to spend a lot of ops on Korea and then just have the war happen. Like, if I just take it right away, it's only two ops, but um, but if I have to fight for it, It's a bit more of a waste. Right, CIA, interesting. Decol, Korean War, okay, interesting. All right, so 
I feel like I don't want to help him too much, but he hasn't got any strong cards left, apart from the China card. Uh, but of course he's triggering CIA now, so he doesn't have to worry about that. Um, but he can't really use decol now. He can't really coup Pakistan or Thailand. So I feel like I could... I mean, I want to use, I want to use the op, um, I think I just want to use an op, so, just go India, just to help, help along the way. I will have to coup at some point. Um, it's only two VPs though, if I, if I don't coup, it's not the end of, end of the world. Hmm, interesting. Okay. That gives me Asia Don, though. Um, it could, it also gives him France, but I can realign if he doesn't coup. I'm gonna score that. And now I can coup, or I could go into France. Um, I think I might. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I wanted to kick him out of there, if nothing else. And now he has to coup if he doesn't want to lose VPs. It's a very unusual start, this. It's not often you see the US being ahead this late in the turn. In Milops, I mean. And he doesn't have a good coup target for this. Alright, if you roll well enough, anything is a good coup target. Um, I will not coup any further than that, because I will get a coup regardless. I will walk back into Iran. Right, I get into Pakistan war. Wow, I really can't complain about the ops. Very good hand so far. Um... What's the headline, though? I mean, I could do five-year plan, because we still haven't seen duck, so that, that might trigger. <clears throat> but there isn't that much else that I want to trigger, I don't think. Um, no scoring, so no, they've, they've all been played. Um, well, I mean, could potentially draw something like um, D-style. Let's try. I mean, worst case scenario, 
no, I don't, there isn't really any particularly bad scenarios I can think of. All right. <clears throat> oh, wow. <laughs> wow. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Um, wow. All right. That is uh, wow, drawing D style. There's always a, always a chance. You now he might be holding it, but wow, I knew he didn't have it from the turn before, so he drew it this turn. That is um, very fortunate. The only drawback, of course, is he had lined duck, so I don't get to coup. But then again, I get two VPs, so it's. Right, what do we do? What do we do? Um, I need Milops. I need to get into France as well. So maybe let's... Oh, and um, Lebanon. I might space Vietnam, I'm not sure. Don't strictly have to, of course, and it's nice to get rid of it. So, probably will play it. Let's see. Alright, um... I want to get into Libya before it's too late, and I think I'd rather also... Mm, Not a good hand for him in the first round, first turn. I mean, decal is a good card, but apart from that, I mean, everything else is pretty rubbish and no ops, so, wow, very unfair. Very unfair indeed. Okay. Mm, this gives me a shot at taking Iraq. Which must, might be nice for the future. But I do want to get into France, so I think that's number my number one priority. Because Algeria will become important as well, I think.
He's still holding the amount. No, he played it. Um, Alright, let's uh, have a little war. Just for the lols. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. It's been a long time since I had a game where everything just goes, like, completely my way. It's nice for a change. Um, wow. Alright, um, should we... No, let's hold Nasserite. There's no reason to play it. And then we can do, like, um... We can go in there, we can go... Actually, we haven't seen the Gauls, so let's overprotect France. Oh, and of course I forgot about Blockade. But he doesn't have any cards left. He played the UN and... And then I five-year planned him. Right. Is he going to play the China card? <clears throat> Okay, can have this. Oh, that gives him Asia Dom. Let's not do that. Okay, so I get blockade. Slightly worse hand. Um, hmm. I think he is holding containment. Um, we have seen all the four ops. Because I had them all. Pretty much. No, not Marshall. So he's holding Marshall. And socialist governments. So as I think did we see did we see Suez? No. So containment, Marshall, Sokov, Suez, that's quite a lot of ops for a change. Um Do I know one more? He knows about NASA blockade war sword defectors to call. So I might know one more of his cards. Um anything obviously obvious that I haven't Fidel? I believe, yes, indeed. Is there even... Could be one more. Um, alright, so... Any of those cards? Anything he can do in... He, I've got decal. If he redrew D-style, he could affect Asia scoring. I'm not getting Asia Dom in any way. Um, he knows I have defectors, so he might try and headline, he probably will headline something weak. Um, I might just go with Asia. Yeah, there we go. That was a redraw. We have to fill that back up. So now I know five of his six cards.
and that was a redraw as well. So now I know all of his cards. He went with Iraq there. Um, okay. Um, kind of need to fill up the Middle East. I'm going to go straight for Israel there. And discard. I mean, normally you would want to uh, play the goal, but you don't want to discard Wars or Pact, so I'll, leave the, I'll discard the goal and I'll play Warsaw. Which I probably should have done first thing in case. No, I know he doesn't have NATO, so it doesn't matter. And now he DC'd. Seems like. This goes to space, and. Uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. I'll play everything. And he's back. Nasser is fine, but I'll wait until as late as possible. So, if he has middle. No, I know he doesn't have middle east score. I have everything. He will give me containment. In AR6, here comes Fidel, he vents it, and I kind of have to go into Mexico. It's not really, I'm not in a hurry to do this first. No. He fenced that. I mean, hmm. You would only, like, I don't know why you would do that if I don't have the ops to replace it, but. I mean it yeah uh, I mean if I if I have Europe scoring perhaps but I think I would have played it earlier if I did that So containment marshal and Suez in his hand he can still space and I imagine he will want to play containment in AR6 so I can get one more op out of NASA. Okay. And I kind of have to go... Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe I should have... Yeah, because he knows he'll, he'll have to play Marshall. Um, and then he'll fill up Turkey. Um, he doesn't have access to s Portugal, but I'd still want to. I know he doesn't have Europe, so I don't have to worry about that. Let's go one into Mexico.
is holding Marshall. Alright, here's NASA for you. That gives him... It stops my dom in the Middle East. And he's on six in Europe now. Which means I kind of have to go... I mean, I don't want to not take Mexico. And I kind of want to go one more into Mexico. So he can't coup it easily. Oh, he, I have Marshall. I thought he did. I thought he had Marshall. And so he had something else. Hmm. Oh, did we see Marshall already? Was that... Did he you in, intervene that, perhaps? I don't remember. Um, anyway, another excellent hand. Very, very good. Um, it's only gunman, that's a problem, theoretically. Um, I've got salt. Anything I want to salt? Not really. Um, we could start with all sorts of things. Uh, I don't think voice, uh, it's better to wait. Um, brush war in Panama, perhaps, but then he can coup it. I mean, Marshall is a decent headline. Let's go with, let's go with Marshall. Alright, he lowers DEFCON. I mean, it looks like an ops war in Europe, so let's grab some small countries. Brush is probably going to be Panama. That's by far the best target. I was considering Greece for a second, but I don't think it'll be a problem for me to get Europe done back, so let's not worry about it. Um, yeah, no, it's pretty much only Panama. And it's especially nice since he doesn't have a coup target. Um, so he won't get Milops. Okay. I'm kind of okay with that, actually. But that means it's time for brush. Ooh! Failed roll. Oh well. You can have your four VPs. No? No central. Yes, central. Alright, so, uh, now since I have the Middle East, if I take Israel, he'll just take Egypt. And um, that's no good. What I could do is also... Uh, I could use... You use voice to get him out of like Zaire and Angola and Egypt, but it's a bit of a waste in Egypt. But it's it feels better than spending to like a three op card to take Egypt. So I think that's what I will do. And then I should get be able to get Middle East Dom. Easily. Okay, two points for him. Yes, indeed. 
Mm, this is fine. I suspect he doesn't have Europe, because I think he would have dumped it. But, just to be safe. Means he was worried that I have Europe. <clears throat> um, might as well space this, I guess. Even though he might have one small step. I don't want to give him milops. Let's do it. Alright. I don't think I want to voice anything. I mean, uh, sorry, um, salt anything. Voice is tempting. But it's not that strong right now. And I don't want to give him a lops. I would like to get rid of Lone Gunman, though, but it's it's fine for now. Well, at least until we've seen Kennedy. I don't have to worry too much about it. Um, Too bad. In that case, we might as well do this. Or maybe that Ah, oh, another excellent hand. Um, I wouldn't mind... Purge here, but... Kennedy's obviously the obvious headline here. 
And I think I'll hold on to Africa, because it's looking quite good. Um, but it depends on his first... No, it... oh, well, I won't get to see that. Hmm, too bad. Um, if nothing else, I should be able to dump Africa if it turns out bad. Um, yeah. Right, so he's caught up a bit in terms of BPs, but I still feel pretty happy about the port state. Still feel pretty happy about having six BPs. Ooh, that could actually become very important. Um, so by putting into Angola, I kind of forced him to coup Angola instead of Algeria or something like that. Um, but with that in mind, I do feel like maybe Africa is not going to be... I mean... Hmm. I can go Saharan States, and then he will coup me, and then he won't get Dom. And if he if he coups really well, then I could um, then I could um, dump Africa, and then get a a milop out of it. Um, what else do I want to do? I probably do want to grab Taiwan actually. Because Asia is tied, and he's only tying it because of the battlegrounds, like I've got the country count, so I feel like it was a mistake to play Formosan there, but he might not have had a choice. Goes for influence. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Well, then I have a coup. Well, I've got coup targets already, but. Um. Hmm. Is this completely insane? Because now he can't realign me. He can coup. But if I grab that as well, then it won't stop Dom.
Mm. That's a nice move. I like that. Um, I might actually dump... I might, I might actually score Africa here. Rather than... Try, because... Because otherwise I might lose it. And since I have Junta, I know I'm going to get into South America anyway. I've got OAS as well, so... Because Africa could quickly turn into his dom. Right, using Ewan for influence, that means he has a card he doesn't want to get rid of. Or he has a he has an unplayable card. Um now I kinda of feel like I wanna use Junta, even though it doesn't give me proper coup. But I feel like I wanna hold on to Ayende for now. I think I would have evented that. He really needs the BPs. But I can also see why he would want to do something about South America. So now I don't technically really need OAS. I think I'll use it as an AR7, and I feel like I don't need the Pope either, so let's just walk into Argentina. And then I can break his... Uh, break Venezuela, poke it with OAS, and maybe... also... I can put two into Venezuela, if I want to. Hmm, I should coup. Ah, oh, that, that's a mistake. I forgot about coup. I should have cooed instead of walking into Argentina. Though it is pretty important. Alright, is this South America? Europe. Right, of course. We could have... Oh, and that's why he... He wanted to... he didn't use UN for the event. Alright, strong presence in Colombia. Um, I might forfeit the coup, since I'm only going to get one mil off anyway for it. I might forfeit the coup to be able to do that. And that. And another amazing hand. So we saw ABM. Um, arms race is not. Missile envy is not. My missile envy is definitely safe. I've got dark. But he gets to see my headline, so it's it's not. It's not optimal. Um, what can I do that's good in the headline? Uh, duck is also dangerous since we haven't seen Khrushchev yet. So, maybe to steal a China card. Yeah, why not? Since we 
just soul cultural, so he's not getting it back. Only South America left. Mexico? No? Argentina. Yeah, that makes more sense, I guess. Um all right, so I'm not holding dark. I wanted to reshuffle. Ooh, actually, um I kind of have to go Mexico, unfortunately. I suppose I could oh, I kinda wanna have I have to stop his Dom here. Let's try it, but he's definitely got a three up. Oh, yes. Um, 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 um. Um, he's quite likely to have South America, so I suppose I could go puppets and go into Chile. And then what else? I suppose it's nice to have access to Zaire and maybe Hungary. <laughs> I think he's given up this Ops War, but you never know. Yeah, thought you might. Alright, so down to four VPs only. Um, I definitely want nucleus subs to come back, so let's grab Chile. And then let's not forget to coup. Going into Paraguay, perhaps. Nine cards left to draw. All right, um, let's go somewhere. I imagine Botswana is the um, wow. Nice roll. Very unusual South America. US and Chile, and we share, like, we have one each of the northern ones and one each of the southern ones. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, um, Colonial, I guess, might be a nice AR7. Um, kind of wanted to hold on to Missile Envy. But I also... I mean, I don't really mind playing AMD right now, but it does give him access to Peru, so maybe not. Um, let's overprotect some places. Okay, we can try and figure out what he's got. It's usually quite difficult. Like turn seven. Um, we've seen Brush and Junta and ABM. Um, Grains and Voice. Most of the good American Two Ops cards. Um, Muslim. I mean, Bear Trap is always nice, he knows about it. But I don't see why not. Gives me a coup. Not much he can do about it. So we drew... I think he drew five cards. I, I still don't know if the Soviets draw cards first or the US draw cards first. One of us got five, the other one got four. So I got Indo Pakistani, Willy Brandt, Olympic Games, um, and Bear Trap. So I got four, yeah, so he got five. There's five cards that I should know. Muslim is one, and he got Decal, that was a redraw. And Nicholas Sumps was a redraw as well. It's out of the trap. Um, I guess I need to coup with Olympic Games. Oh! Well, maybe I should have used a stronger card there because, because that could have happened. But I still should probably be able to get Africa Dom. Anything that's been reshuffled from the early war? I'm not sure if we see nuclear test ban again. Hmm. 
No, don't think so. So he probably has that. And so that, that was, that was there. That was an own card. Uh, and there was some other cards that I put back kitchen. And I think, um, East European Unrest. Yeah. Um, well, if that's five cards, then that's what he redrew. I might have made a mistake about NTB, though. Um, alright, let's take back... Do I want the Pope for the future? I don't know. Maybe not. I don't strictly need in a Pakistani war, but it might be nice to... No, it's not worth the VPs. It's... Ooh, hang on, hang on. That goes to space. Or maybe OPEC goes to space. That's also worth two VPs. Yeah, I suppose OPEC is worse. Although OPEC is at three op, this is only at two op. So maybe that does go to space. Um, Let's think about it. I don't think I'm going to play jump. Oh, Brezhnev, that was known. Then... Sorry, where did he go? Egypt, North Korea. Yeah, so he's trying to build up to Muslim here. Um... I oh, know, because this is... Yeah, no, OPEC is more space-worthy because I have to put an op to block a VP as well. Right, let's score Africa. Hmm. Yeah, 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 I should have gone into Tunisia there. Alright. Uh, now I need a 3-op to take Egypt. Then he takes Libya. It's a shame. Nice move. It was basically my my bad. Although even if I had been in Tunisia, I would have he would have taken either Egypt or Libya. So okay. Um. So let's space OPEC. Now, if my counting was correct, he should have Kitchen and NTB. I think NTB was probably a mistake. So he's got Kitchen and something. Um, because he could only have drawn five cards, right? Okay. Um, let's go. He has to coup next round if he was if he doesn't want to lose Milops. And he knows about Philip Brandt. So maybe I should play that. And maybe like break uh break Panama perhaps.
Oh, Summit. That was known too. Right, so he had, oh, he had almost only known cards. I don't know. I might be making a fool of myself here, but I felt like the draw pattern was nine cards last before turn seven. I should be getting half of those. And he's drawn one, two, three, four, five, six new. Oh, hang on. No, wait. No. All right, never mind. Um... All right, so this might be kitchen then, I guess. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Um, we're playing in a Pakistani war. I kind of feel like playing it for the BPs to maybe make up for the BPs I lose. I did not. There we go. Oh, he gets to he gets to discard. Wow. I need to do something about that. The space race is helping him a lot right now. Okay. Mm, mediocre hand, although reasonably playable. Um. Mm. Yasuri is a pretty good headline, and I don't really have anything else, so let's go with Yasuri. It's not, he can't really counter it either unless he's redrawn. No, he can't. Mm. Um, I guess you would remove shuttle. It's not what you it's not what you want to see when you Aldrich wouldn't be able to throw away a good card, although he can see that I have a fairly bad hand and that I've got Quag, which means I'm going to have to play pretty much everything else. Quag goes to space. Tough choice. Or he's thinking about his next move. It's probably not a tough choice. There was Nuclear Test Plant. He might have redrawn it now, though. Breaking West Germany. Okay. Um, sure. You know, I mean... Yeah. I want that back. Um, I could threaten him. But he knows I don't have the ops to do anything serious, so... And I definitely don't want to play the China card. Um... So obviously then I lose Asia Doll. So um I guess you can have the coup back. I should at least challenge him in like what if I can do what if I do that and that? Then Thailand is under threat at least. <clears throat> Uh, 
Maybe that was dumb, because if he has a strong if he has a strong hand now, he can start an ops war in West Germany, and he knows I can't stop him. Might have made might have been a mistake. Oh yes, definitely. Because of course then I lose... Oh, I lose both. Um, which means I... Now I, I can't fight for West Germany now. He, and he knows it. I mean, there's the possibility that the rest of his hand is shit. And so there is actually something to fight for. But I don't think so. So I'm just going to go... And this does not trigger with, um, no, it does not. I'm going to uh, grab the coup. Because, the oh, for fuck's sake. I can't complain about luck at all in this game, so I'm not doing that. But it felt like at least that, that made sense. Um, because if I had gotten Zaya, then I could have realigned Angola and gotten Africa control. Now oh, at least I get Milops, but it was a nice play by him. Uh, seeing the hand and then going for an ops war in Europe, and I should have put uh, more. Uh, I should have put all my influence in into West Germany there. Maybe even considered cracking myself. We were at ah uh, no, nah, I don't know. If his hand is good and good enough, then he would have taken it regardless. I'm not prepared to play the China card. Mm. D style for influence. Hmm. Well, if I do play the China card, then Thailand. But I want to have the. Uh, I want to have the. Um, um, Defcon route available as well. So I want to hold on to the China card, even though, I mean, if I take Thailand, then I don't need Taiwan. But he's so far up in the space race that I, I feel like the Defcon is a possibility. Although, since he can discard he's fairly likely to be able to save himself. But he might have a bad time doing it. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna have to play, play everything. I mean, this in Italy is not an immediate threat, but it is a bit of a threat. Uh, yeah, so Quag goes to space, Korean, I'm going to have to trigger Korean, unfortunately. Oh, it's another two VPs? Crap. Self Quag? Or just space. But then I have to self-quag. So then I have to do that before. I mean, self-quag is never a good idea. It's sometimes a f not completely bad idea. But right now, he knows my hand. I mean, he's very likely to win the Korean War, at least, so... Let's hope it's just those two VPs, and then the two for Milops. It's gotten quite a lot of value out of, um, out of, uh, Flower Power. Alright. It was only four VPs in total. Or rather, it saved him having to coup. I think he should want to coup anyway, because he can easily stop my Africa Dom if he gets into Nigeria. <clears throat> I feel like I've had the board state pretty much the whole game. Uh, it hasn't really paid off in terms of VPs. I got a lot of VPs initially, 
Ooh, I think I would have stolen back the China card with that. Just to be safe. Now we're nearing the end of... I'm worried that he's holding NATO. And he's waiting for me to play special. Um... Or have we, have we seen it already? No. Because so far he hasn't really played... Well, he's had a pretty good hand. Yes. Definitely. Um... He's been playing mainly three ops, though. So let's hope he doesn't have NATO. Because I'm, I'm starting to think that I might be able to hold on to Germany and take it back. Which is kind of surprising consi considering the ops difference this turn. No NATO. Sock Cubs instead. And then he knows I have to space. And protect Chile. Yeah. I mean, I could trigger this. Oh, that keeps having done. It's absolutely awful. I go one there. But then still with a three up, he takes it. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. That's space. Ugh, don't even succeed. Yeah, I mean, because he knew my hand, this Ops War thing wasn't really going to work out, was it? He knew I had to space, he knew I had a Yende, so... It's rubbish. He might not have known. Ugh. Terrible. Yeah, that was a pretty bad turn, and here goes something nasty. Ah, into space. No? Okay, good hand. Good hand. Um, Carl is safe, obviously. Grain's always good, but you can do it later. Carl might be nicer. Gives me points. And I can do grains later on. Um, yeah. Although, no, I, I feel like I need to hold on to... But this is making um, is making Defcon win for for me fairly unlikely because now we've already seen two of those cards. CA was was played in early war, so not much left of that. I feel like I I want to hold on to my Africa Dom. Final scoring. Otherwise, he's getting the board state. Europe, that was that was that was bad, but it also was pretty difficult. Like I, I feel like um, with the ops difference there, it would have been hard for anyone to defend Europe. Oh, and then he's got Middle East. Ugh. Wow, space has really, really helped him this game. Really, really helped him. 
a lot. This goes to space. What do I do with voice? Southern South America's... Well, no, not really. I still have access. Libya and Egypt. But he just scored it. So, fortunately. Okay, well, he gets to see my hand again. You are right to worry. Um, I think I might hold on to voice if I can. Then I have to play everything else, but that's fine. Oh no, because he... No, Aldrich was last turn. Yeah, so six cards. That's fine. Um, let's go with grains right away. Hmm... Okay, um, yeah. Oh. I feel like I have to play it. It's not the end of the world. I want to be able to steal a card from him and reduce his hand size. And it's a card that he, I mean, it's such a safe card for him that whatever he has left is probably worse. Oh, four points. But now he can't space three ops cards either, uh, so that has to count for something. I finally stop headline peak way too late. This is normally my argu argument for, because I like spacing as the Soviets as well, my argument is usually that uh, if you get headline peak, then you're kind of fine with not being able to space two ops cards. If you get to discard, you're kind of fine with, you know, you can discard grains, etc. Ooh. Oh, thank God. Uh, but I can't do the how I learned thing. Or I can. But is it dangerous? It might be. It might be. Um, also, Lance is not ideal. It really isn't. Um, but I guess I'll have to live with it. And not discard. It's not Lance, it's Ladk. Hmm. Thought you would have gone for Chile there, but that's actually probably smarter. Because now they're kind of impregnable, uh, these two. Um, okay, then I can use this for something else. Um, I will probably try and... I mean, I've got some opportunities to try and even out Central.
should have overprotected West Germany after Willy Brandt. That's that's what I really should have done then. That whole thing in the um with the um the ops war in West Germany wouldn't really have happened. Hmm, it's disconnected again. All right, but with with voice in my in the in turn ten, it should be okay. I mean, Asia is mine, Africa hopefully is mine, but you never know. You might get Nigeria. Um, I should I should probably walk into Cameroon, um, just to make sure I have have that if he kills Nigeria. This I might be able to even a little bit. Europe, I might go for country count. Uh, it's six eight at the moment, so it's a bit of work, but it might 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 be doable. And then voice in AR seven. Obviously, I can make a lot of cause a lot of problems with that. But he knows it's coming, so he can he can definitely overprotect things. And right now, as the points stand, I get five, nine, and ten with China with the China card. He gets five, nine, and he's got two points, eleven. So he wins right now. And he's back online. Has to play all his remaining cards. What did he? Has he? Yes, he did space. He spaced the lines, so he he definitely doesn't have anything horrible. Bit of overprotection there. All right. Um, how I learned is not gonna happen, as in not the event anyway. Might as well play it. Causing some mild irritation in Central America. 
Ooh, a point. That means it's actually a tie now. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, don't want to go with um, this, obviously. I could. Uh, then I would force him to coup as well, which he might be happy to do, but it means I can't coup after him. Um, oh no, that's realignment rolls. Ooh, is that a problem? It might be. Let's leave um, Hate for now. Uh, I hate if he has actually central, but pretty sure he doesn't. He would have scored it. Um, let's go with Colonial. Let's go Cameroon. Might as well overtake Nigeria. Uh, put one more in Thailand, although it doesn't really do anything right now. I think we're better off in Africa. Ugh. Oh yeah, yeah. He could have, he could have walked into Peru at any time. I should have done that myself. Um. Okay. Then maybe I need to do that. Or I can exchange Dom in in South America for. This. Ooh, South America. Okay. Um, not a bad hand. Um, all things considered. Should I just dump South America? Maybe I should. Because he's going to go for a coup in... <sighs> yeah, there isn't anything that lets him, well, jump to lots of things. But it's not getting any... It's not getting any better. Like, that, that will happen any, anyway. So then I might as well... I don't have any obvious headlines. It's not envy. It's not entirely safe. I mean, because he's going to go for a coup first, but then he might also lower DEFCON in the headline. So I might have a, sh a chance to get rid of South America, or I might not. Let's hope he doesn't headline Junta, but then again, if he headlines Junta, then it's going to happen anyway. Is Junta available? I think so. Yes. Hmm. Oh man, fuck. That might be the game. But it would have... Ooh. <laughs> oh! Wow. Why didn't he go for... He could have gone for ops, right? He can place influence. He could have just broken Brazil. That would have been a bit, a bit more expense, but he, it would be guaranteed. It was very unlucky for him. Um, it was. But if he had broken Brazil there, he would have guaranteed Dom, so... But obviously you're, you're assuming that you're going to get that role. 
but I think in the long term, because he could have realigned that later as well. Like so, long term, it's better to break Brazil. Right. Okay. Nice. Couple of points. But there goes. Oh, Iran, and he rolls pretty badly. Let's uh, get rid of this right away. Um, I mean, I'm going to lose Chile, probably. Let's maybe start on Europe a bit. Hmm. Fuck. That didn't have to happen. <sighs> Can I get any points in space? I can get one point. It's better than giving giving him a point. But I also don't have to play all my cards. I could decide not to play Ortega. Since Nicaragua is kind of makes sense. But we we can we'll see. Hmm. Let's try, this gives him a point, this gives him a point. There's too many points coming. I want to try a real line on... don't really have a secondary target, though. Three ops should be enough, really. Okay, um... I mean, I don't know, this feels stupid, but I feel like Peru might be my best option here. Nice. Um... And then this is like... No, we should leave it. Um, I don't know. Let's try Argentina. All right, but that was definitely, definitely lucky. Mm -hmm. Nice. Arms race is gone. OPEC is gone. No more big points for you. Um, let's maybe get rid of this. Yeah, and then I can hold one of these. I can space the other one. I'm not sure if I want to space.
So this is AR7, this is probably AR6, so 4 and 5, one of them gets held. I mean this is the most problematic card. U2 is bad if he has UN, but... Oh, he did, he did have it, but, uh, but now I can safely play U2. I can get Middle East Dom with voice. I can't get South America Dom. Um, I can't do anything about Europe, so voice is actually not going to do that much. You can give me a point somewhere. Mm, I need all of those. Could remove his presence from central. Doesn't do much either. Um, am I winning if I... I even out Europe. I should have gone for Hungary. I forgot about Hungary. Um, instead of the UK. Uh, if I even up, out Europe and I get Middle East Dom, then surely I win. But if I only get Middle East Dom, it's usually three. Oh, that is nasty. <gasps> Man. That was very lucky. Uh, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, okay, what can I do? I probably need to work on Europe since... Oh, but then he knows I can't. All he has to do is um, break something in Europe. And he gets it back. There's no real point in trying to over... What if he has a really bad card? <laughs> Probably not. Um, hmm. Well, I feel like I at least need to give him a fight for that. Uh, he could break France. Should I overtake France? Cuba is fine. Um, all of the rest of it is fine, I imagine. France might be a problem. Um, yeah, so I should win, even if he takes back Europe, right? How much do I get from this? 3, 7, 12, and he has 1 right now, so 8, so 4, so, yeah, if he takes back Europe and I take Middle East, then I should win. Not by much! Okay, so right now he gets 5, so he's on 12. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So he's on 12. 
And I get three, seven, twelve China card, and also this. So yeah, shouldn't be a problem. I imagine this is the most efficient. Yeah, I, I feel like the luck uh, even out a bit towards the end, but the like the fact that he terrorized away Pershing, uh, the fact that like uh, I drew D style that was early, but that was incredible. Um, a lot of things like that that could easily have have uh, gone any other way. It is, it is definitely. Um. So yeah, but but I'm I'm really uh, I'm kind of happy to have a game for a change that goes uh, goes really really well. Um, and um, it just both that I feel like I played reasonably well, but also that like the cards and the dice are kind of in my favor especially early war, which is important. So, uh, it hasn't happened in a while, so now it has happened, and I will stop whining. Um, Alright, so I'm still in the playoffs, silver playoffs, uh, and um, we'll see when that happens. Uh, and, uh, yeah, thank you for watching tonight. Uh, I'll see you next time.